What is going on guys welcome back to the channel and I appreciate you being here today we're going to go over the recently dropped roadmap for destiny 2 actual dates people actual dates of changes being brought to the game this in my opinion is a great great move by Bungie something I feel was 100% needed on the path towards making this game great again so let's get into it so first off on the roadmap as you can see it basically tells us for what we've already got with a 1.1.2 update, but we'll go through it anyway. Armor Masterworks, Raid Reward Improvements, Prometheus Lens Buff, Flashpoint Milestone Fix, Lost and Found Notifications, Exotics in Heroic Strikes, Mercury Challenges on Adventures, Fixed Clan Engrams from Nightfalls, Challenges in Quick Play, Dismantle Timer for Masterwork Cause, and Icora Waypoint Fix. So that's what we got with the update that dropped yesterday. On February 27th, we'll get the 1.1.3 update. This is strikes and social. Nightfall scoring and high score tracking. I love this addition in Destiny 1. I really did. Fire team members on destination maps. So basically, if you bring up your map, if you're in a fire team, and someone is in a different location to you, you'll see exactly where they are on your map. So you can fast travel to their location, which is pretty cool. PC public text chat. Exotic repetition reduction. This is something I feel was needed a while back. I am fed up of getting the same exotic four times in a row, but I'm glad to see it's being fixed. Companion mod shader interactions. That's going to be cool to play with. Companion vendor viewing. That's going to be pretty cool to check out too. And also Nightfall Strike unique rewards. This I cannot wait to see more of. I mean, I loved Strike exclusive rewards from Destiny 1. If they add them into Destiny 2, even if it only comes around when the night falls here, that's great. Because I remember with Destiny 1, you had more chance of getting that specific Strike exclusive loot if that Strike was the weekly nightfall. So if the Omnigal Strike was the weekly nightfall, people used to grind that to try and get the Grasp of Malak. So adding unique Strike rewards could be a great, great thing. Okay, so on March 27th, we'll get the Sandbox and Crucible update, 1.1.4. I honestly wish the sandbox changes uh, came sooner, but it is what it is. Weapon and ability sandbox changes, heroic strike modifiers, iron banner 6v6, which is going to be great. Iron banner at the moment is okay, and I'm going to have a video discussing my opinion on that coming pretty soon, so stay tuned for that. Weekly crucible playlist including mayhem, mayhem was the best thing ever. I used to actually I came on from about three weeks off Destiny 2 just to play Mayhem and I didn't regret it. It was so so fun, it was amazing. I can't wait for that to return. Crucible ammo and gameplay tuning. Be good to hear what they're doing there. Nightfall challenge cards. Crucible quitter penalties. Curious to see what they do there. Repeat crucible map strike protection. That's another thing I absolutely hate. Playing Iron Banner. Now I'm getting the same map three or four times in a row. Can be quite annoying. Exotic weapon armor sandbox changes. Again, another thing I can't wait to see what they're going to be doing with there. Okay, so season three, and this will be coming in May, a new season of content with the 1.2.0 update. Eat of World Prestige Mode, Seasonal Crucible Rankings, which we know is a big, big thing for many, many PvP players. I mean, I'm looking forward to it myself. I'm not really much of a PvP player, but having a rank to chase is a great thing in my opinion. Private Matches, something I believe should have been in the game from the start. Like a lot of this, to be honest, should have been in the game from the start, but I'm glad to see it's actually coming. Vault Space Increase. This is a must for me, it really is. My vault space is full on weapons I'm not going to ever use, but I'm a hoarder. i got to keep them. I can't delete them. So I need more vault space. Just got to wait until May to get it. Multi emote. This, I believe, is the emote wheel where you can uh, apply one emote to each of your directions on your D-pad. Exotic masterworks. That should be pretty cool too to see what happens there. Seasonal vendor progression. That is something I believe we don't think we've heard them speak about in the past. So it'll be interesting to see what falls in there. And faction rally improvements. That's pretty cool too. And also mod system improvements. Now we know uh, changes to the mod system and the core system of mods needs changing. I mean the raid mods are pretty epic when playing a raid. I believe they should drop uh, mods for crucible. Drop mods for standard PvE. I think it would make a big, big difference and it's something people will love. It then states in small print at the bottom, these features are stretch goals that have a chance to slip to a later release, which is understandable, but at least they're communicating with us. Now, this roadmap, in my opinion, this development roadmap is a great step in the right direction. I mean, let's not lie, Bungie 
although had a rough start, and I mean there was no excuse, especially on the basis of ending Destiny 1 in a good place. Destiny 2 is a poor, poor sequel, but it seems as though they are making the right decisions going forward. Whether it's out of pressure seeing how far this game has fell or not, it's definitely what's needed to save the game for sure. But yes guys, this is their development roadmap for Destiny 2. Let me know what you think about everything I've covered in today's video down below within that comment section. The things that stand out here for me though are definitely Nightfall Strike Unique Rewards, 6v6 and Iron Banner, Heroic Strike Modifiers, definitely the Weapon Ability Sandbox Changes, Private Matches for sure, Vault Space Increase and Mod System Improvements. But to be honest I ain't seen anything on here which is taking a step back, I mean some things are a little slow to arrive but it's definitely stepping into the right direction. But yes guys I hope you enjoyed the video, thanks as always for stopping by, leaving a like really does help me out and hopefully people I will see you on that next one. Always in the wrong, knowing where we stand, but you and I will carry on, we never get it right.